Joy 101.9, your choice for the family. Happy, happy Saturday music in from Kevin LeVar. That one, your destiny. It's too important to give up for anything or, I want to add this one in, anyone. Anyone that's in your life that's not helping you to get to the place that God has for you. You know what you need to do. Those people that keep on pulling you down, speaking negative over you. Mm -hmm. You know just what you need to do with those people mm -hmm. it's the it's in you hour and today we want you to know that greatness is on the inside of you and today like i told you we have two stupid superstars that are in studio with me and like i tell you they are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful smiles and it's making things so much beautiful here in the studio today we have miss destiny gibson in the elementary category she captured first place destiny attends the temple christian elementary school and she is 10 years old we have Miss Shauna Gibson, the winner of our secondary category. She attends Kingsway School and is 15 years old. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Okay. I want to I wanna start talking with Destiny. Miss Destiny Gibson, like I told you guys, she is 10 years old. Trust me, she's going to blow your mind in just a second. So tell us, why did you decide to, you know, what is it that made you want to join this competition? Well, I've kind of been a fan of writing and music. And when I heard that about the Joy Jingle competition, I was like, okay, I guess I want to, I guess I like, I like, I like, I really like to do this. And then I heard the winners would perform at this in the park. I just said, oh my gosh, I need to enter Wow, and listen to me, she's 10 years old, okay? And y'all heard that, right? Okay, so we're going to talk to Miss Shauna right now. Shauna, I want to go ahead and throw the same question at you. What is it that made you want to be a part of this competition? Good morning, good morning. Well, actually, as a career choice, I wanted to do singing and writing. So when I heard about the competition, I was like, wow, this is the perfect time for me to exploit my capabilities and see what I can do. Awesome. And both of them are very, very young. Let me ask you this. Was there any fear in involved when you were doing it were you afraid at all of anything well at first I felt a little scared and I was a bit shy but then when I saw the crowd they were cheering for me it just lifted my spirit and I just Aww. felt so excited to go on stage wow what about you Shauna well that wasn't really fair that was just like second guessing of not knowing what to expect from mm -hmm. other competitors right but I said I'll just give my best and be me and whatever happens Wow, that is so encouraging. And you know, so many people are saying, you know, all is lost for this generation. But there are so many young people out there that are doing positive things and going on and pursuing purpose. And I mean, if you could hear that, you, hear, you heard their ages 10 and 15. At 15, she's saying, I already know my career choice. I already know what I want to do. And we were talking off air and she didn't use the word career choice. She used the word ministry. And if you heard what Destiny said, she said when the crowd started to cheer, it lifted her spirits. And so let me ask you this. What was going on through your mind? What was going on in your mind even during that time? while you were singing your jingle what was going on in your head what were you feeling well at first i heard the crowd mm -hmm. the crowd was cheering for me and i just felt a little excited mm -hmm. and at the same time i was kind of shy because you know i'm only a 10 year old girl <laughs> singing in front of almost more than 10 people but then when i get to the sec when i started when i went to the second time i started singing i actually felt more free and more excited to be singing on the stage wow and what about you shauna well while i was on stage performing i looked around and i could see like a lot of young people and i was like wow this is good mm -hmm. and i felt delighted because i'm wow. a young person and mm -hmm. i'm like wow there are other people like me praising god i'm not alone i felt like supported so Wow. And they're going to sing that for us when we come back after the break. We're going to hear more from them and we're going to talk a little bit more with them. Get in depth with some things. Joy 101.9, your choice for the family. That was music in from Travis Green. Intentional. All things are working for your good because he's intentional. He's just bringing it all together. You may not understand. You may not even be able to see it right now. It's almost like, what in the world is going on in my life? But trust me, it's working together for your good. 
I have Miss Shauna Gibson and Miss Destiny Gibson in studio winners from the Jingle for Joy competition. Two absolutely amazing young women, young ladies. Let me tell you something. I am absolutely blown away just by talking with them. The 10 year old, I mean, she's 10 years old, right? And I promise you, she does not talk like she is 10 years old. And she is an absolutely bright young lady. And Miss Shauna, 15 years old, and she's totally blown me away. And ladies, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited, just like I saw on Monday, ecstatic. <laughs> awesome. All right. I want to talk with Miss Shauna. And Shauna, I know when we were talking off air, you were telling me that when you heard about it, you said, you know, you want to be a minister of the gospel when you grow up. I need to find out more about that because you're 15 years old and you know, a lot of young people, this is not what's on their mind at 15 years old. What is it that really pushed you to say, you know something I want to pursue? I want to be a minister of the gospel. Okay. Well, at the age of 11, I went through faith. I was depressed for a while. And I used to write to express myself. And at the age of 13 was when I found salvation officially. And when I realized that God put something in my heart and God changed my life around, He did that for me. And I realized that if He did it for me, He could do it for a lot of people, everyone else. So it's just my way of contributing and giving back to the world, to the society, to broken people out there. So. Wow. And to some young person out there, 15, 16, 14, 13, whatever, they're out there and it's like, you know something, I could just live my life. I don't have to live for God. Uh, what are your words to that young person? To be honest, you have to realize that you are but a creation of God yourself. So no matter how much you think that you're independent, you can do things on your own, you cannot. God gives your life direction. God gives your life stability. God is just everything. God, you need to put him first because he is your light. Wow. And you're probably just a candle and without that light being shine, then you're nothing. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. And to see young persons just, you know, so excited about God and the kingdom of God, I think that is such a beautiful thing. And I want to encourage both of you to continue to let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father. Because guess what? I am certain that so many young people listening in today are inspired by what it is you're saying today so miss destiny when they told you that you were the winner in the elementary category what what, what was going on with you how did you feel tell us all about that well i was very excited my mommy said i was at least gonna place but i <laughs> really knew that as gibsons especially as gibsons are talented so Really excited, but it wasn't much of a surprise for me. Because, wow, you know. she's so confident. <laughs> she's confident. She already, she knew that there was a winner within her. So she went in knowing that she was a winner. And I really appreciate that. You know, that's how you have to think, you know. You have to go into things knowing, listen to me. I'm a winner and I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. So how did you feel, Ms. Shauna, when they told you that you won? your category well it was a surprise for me but when i got the phone call and then they were like hello is this with shauna gibson immediately i know it was joy for some reason i just knew it was joy <laughs> mm -hmm. so i was like yes it is and i know what it's for like before she started talking to right like, <laughs> wow so i mean how has it been for you ever since like you've been feeling any different like are you more confident as it relates to you going forth with your music i mean how is it for you now I'm more confident, but I also want to stay humble. Yes. I don't want to let that stuff get to my head. Right. Like a lot of people at school are like, oh, I heard you, you still have I'm like, no, I'm still the same shot you see every day. I'm doing it for God, not for myself. Don't wow. praise me, praise God. That is absolutely beautiful. And so I'm excited, I'm excited, and we're ready to hear your jingles. And so we're going to let you go first, Destiny. And she, she's the winner of the elementary category in the Jingle for Joy competition. And like I said, she's 10 years old and attends Temple Christian Elementary School. And so go ahead, First Destiny. Ready? Okay. God is good. God is great. He gave us joy, so let's celebrate. They spent 12 years of hard work and dedication So let's take some time to show appreciation They play the best songs for Christians everywhere 
praise the Lord, cause more than one point nine is here. God is good, God is great. He gave us joy, so let's celebrate. They spent 12 years of hard work and dedication, so let's take some time to show appreciation. They play the best songs for Christians everywhere. Praise the Lord, because 101.9 is here. Yeah. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. And you wrote that by yourself? Yes, I wrote it by myself. I haven't really sent it into joy and yes, about two or, I think it was a week or two or three days later, we got the good news. Oh, wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Continue the great work, Miss Destiny. All right, Miss Shauna, we are ready to hear from you. If you fall below the ground and need to be uplifted Lacking inspiration and want to be motivated With 12 years of ministry being used for God's glory 101.9 Joy is your choice for the family You can always count on an overflow of blessings There is no age limit, holy word, so don't be stressing with 12 years of ministry being used for God's glory 101.9 joy is your choice for the family Wow, oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful Oh, it's a Gibson thing Why, I feel so left out, oh my goodness I don't, I don't know how to, do, I don't even know how to function anymore Because it's a Gibson thing in here, you know Shauna Gibson, Destiny Gibson So they trying to gang up on me, y'all see this? <laughs> but anyway, ladies, you are both absolutely phenomenal gifted god has placed a gift on the inside of you and so now he's going to allow that gift to minister to so many others just continue to remain focused congratulations to both of you and i am very very proud of you and know that you can change the world all you have to do is remain hum- yeah. and remain humble and continue to trust god in all things i see so much in you so much potential limitless potential so just continue to go for it and i know mommy got your back because she in the back there and she just smiling she's she is excited and so i in parting i know you guys are getting ready to leave us now but i don't want you to leave yet but anyhow i understand okay so what i want you to do though you're getting ready to go it could be one word it could be three words it could be a sentence what would you say to the young persons that are listening what would you want to say to them go first Destiny. well i don't want to repeat the same thing i said on monday i just want to say to all you young people out there you don't have to be shy you don't have to be afraid just go out there and share your talents with the world and just do what God wants you to do in life. Awesome. Okay, I just want to say, put God first in everything that you do. And to the young ladies in particular, grace is deceptive, beauty is vain, but a woman that fears Jehovah shall be praised. 